talk us through uh, some of the at-bats you had today. You were, looked like you were on the ball, but I think your biggest at-bat of the day was the push button you had in the, uh, I think it was the sixth inning, fifth inning, to yeah. get a run across. Talk us through that at-bat and talk us through how you executed it. Yeah, after a chat got on, it was first and third. Um, Bruce looked at me, he's like, you want to push? I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> so I mean, I've got a lot of speed today, so I was like, all right, he's going to throw the first first breaking ball, make sure to stay behind it, and that's what I did, put it in a good place. What's it like to know that you've, you've got the confidence of Coach Bruce to where there's a moment like that, he knows he can call it? Yeah, it, it, means, it means the world. Like He knows how much work we put in uh, at Area 6, we call it, um, bunting. But you know, having the faith that he knows I'm going to get it down, and I know I'm going to get it down no matter what, um, it means a lot. Just how hard is that sunfield out there in left field? We saw uh, UCLA kind of had yeah. trouble with it. How, how hard is that? Uh, I'm used to it. I played left field the last three years. Um, but it's, it is tough. Um, I think the fifth, sixth inning was the worst. Um, I, we had a little bit of a pitching change, so me and Brunson were out there talking. He's, he was, he's not quite used to it yet, but he was uh, struggling a little bit too. Was there anything that changed in your approach at the plate maybe throughout the week that kind of led to this, or was it just a good night? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is being on time, uh, being on time to break the ball, being on time to fastball. Um, that's why I really focused on last week. I feel like last week I was a little bit rushed, um, so I'm making sure I get my load early, uh, being on time. What's it like having a player like Anthony Silva behind you? Does that kind of give you, uh, feel like you see some better pitches? Uh, I mean, yeah, he's a really good player. Obviously, they want to get me out so they don't have to deal with him with runners on base, but my, my goal is just to get on base for guys like him and Curtis and then totally to hit me in. You know, it, it's not often that we see a true freshman come in and immediately start in center field. Mm -hmm. talk, talk about Chase Brunson and the impact that he's had on this team. Oh, he's this been Sunday. unbelievable. Throughout the fall, he was he was great. And then being able to step up last weekend and do what he did, did what he did, uh, be able to just, you know, turn the lineup over, um, he's been incredible. Uh, treat it like we're down 0-2. Uh, we're, we're trying to win a series tomorrow, and so we're trying to sweep tomorrow, but treat it like we're trying to win a series. So, uh, the defense has been a lot cleaner these last mm -hmm. couple games against UCLA. Was that a big emphasis coming into this series? Uh, yeah, we focused a lot on Wednesday and Thursday, but I think it's mostly our pitchers are pounding the strike zone this week, so I feel like it's easier to play defense and not like lull out, but yeah, uh, defense has been an emphasis uh, Wednesday and Thursday practice. How much confidence does it give you guys that you've got guys in the pen like Chase Hoover, Hoover and Braden Sloan that can go extended innings whenever you need them to in tight games like this? Yeah, uh, I mean, anyone we can call on down there will, can give us innings. But, yeah, Sloan's done great and Hoover's done great the last couple times they've been out. But, uh, you know, we have confidence in everyone down there, so they've been great. Yeah. What do you think of the new batter's eyes six games in? Uh, I love it. Uh, it's so much easier to see, especially at night. I feel like it, it makes the biggest difference at night.